TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. Yes, I'm here for Tom O'Brien. And we're looking at the Dow futures up 103 at 26,067. Platinum I'm looking at here says it's broken trend line in this daily chart on the left, breaking trend line resistance, and there's a good chance now that it could push a little higher and probably even try to hit the 25th of February high of 26,273. The E-mini at this particular time is ESMA19, there we go, has broken out of that high that was on the 20, at 28.75. And it is now up at 28.51, up 10.50. So the, the aspect that I'm looking at right now suggests that if there is a rally and the rally holds to a plus eight or more in the E-mini futures at about one o'clock to 1.30, there's a good chance there's going to be a positive, a good positive close. If there's a pullback and it's only up five or less than five at that particular time, we could see ups. We can see some kind of a pullback. And uh, that's going to be very important to be monitoring. And let me just get this up here very quickly as we're about to. Oh, oops, wrong chart. Sorry. Uh, and what we're also looking at is gold is up a little bit. The dollar is down a little bit. We'll talk about that more in this coming up show. I'm doing Larry's show straight after this uh, news break. There's the chart. E mini at 28.51. What's also very important is that the TLT, that is the 20 year Treasury bond fund, hasn't broken out. It's at 121. It's at 121 right now. If it breaks to the 122.55 area, that could mean that the market is ready for some kind of a pullback as money flows out of stocks and into bonds. Hasn't happened yet. And let me just quickly go to gold and then we're about to break. Yep, gold is up 7.1 at 13.08. This is good action, not great action. It's just kind of stuck in this range, but it's attempting to break out if gold can get to 13.22. In the next two days, that's going to be a big positive. The dollar right now, we're looking at the dollar and it's down 17, ticks at 96.32, just slowly pulling back from the recent high of 97.71. And uh, with that, I believe we're about to hear the uh, music. Yep, there it is. Crude oil is up 25 cents. Crude oil is acting very well at testing the 200 period moving average. We'll go through that right now as I do. Larry Pesavento's show. This is Basil Chapman signing off for this news update.